Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Are you stuck in a rut with your WordPress website? Feeling overwhelmed by all the customizations, plugins, and themes you have tried? Well, don't worry, because in today's video, we'll be diving deep into the world of resetting a WordPress website and why it might just be the solution you have been searching for. WordPress is an amazing platform that has empowered millions of people to create stunning websites with ease. But let's face it, sometimes things can get a little out of hand. Maybe you have experimented with too many themes and plugins. Or perhaps you have inherited a website that's become a tangled web of code and outdated content. These situations can make it extremely challenging to manage or even update your site, leaving you feeling frustrated and overwhelmed. But don't worry, because there is a solution. Resetting your WordPress website can be a breath of fresh air, giving you a clean slate to work with and allowing you to reimagine your site from the ground up. By stripping away all the clutter, you'll be able to focus on what truly matters creating an amazing user experience for your visitors. In this depth tutorial, we'll be guiding you through the process of resetting your WordPress website safely and efficiently. By the end of this video, you'll be equipped with the knowledge and confidence to reset your site, no matter the reason. So are you ready to regain control of your WordPress website? Let's dive in and discover how to reset your site with ease. All right, now let's install the WP Reset plugin. Go into Plugins. And from the search bar, we are going to type in WP Reset. You can hit enter on your keyboard, but it's not necessary. This is the plugin that we want to install, which is the WP Reset. Most advanced WordPress reset tool. It has been developed by Web Factory Limited and it has over 400,000 active installations. So click on the Install Now button and give it a few moments to install. OK, so the plugin has been installed. Now click on Activate. So the plugin has been activated. And it says here that Thank you for installing the WP Reset plugin. Open Tools. WP Reset to access your resetting tools and start developing and debugging faster. So I'm going to dismiss this. You can see this is the plugin over here. So let's go to Tools and WP Reset. It's been added here. So before you reset, you can read these things. It already says here. Please read carefully before proceeding. From here, you can get the information on what will be removed and what will be reset from your website. You can take a look at this. But in short, I am saying that WP Reset will not delete any themes or plugins. It will just deactivate those. If you want to delete those plugins, you have to do it manually. So there is a couple of other things that you can do. You can read all of this. What happens when I run any reset tool? So remember, always make a backup first and use snapshots. It is a good idea to backup your website because if something goes wrong with the reset, you can rely on the backup. Again, you'll have to inform the action one more time. See the table above to find out what exactly will be reset or deleted. So you have to check all of these out in order to be sure about what will be deleted. Check your site title, WordPress, URL, Site URL, Site Language, Search Engine Visibility, and Current User. These will be restored. The next point is you will be logged out and you will automatically be logged back in 
and taken to the admin dashboard. WP Reset plugin will be reactivated if that option is chosen. After reading all of this, let's proceed to resetting our WordPress website. So from here, you can see the site reset. Okay, so there are three settings over here. The first one says, reactivate the current theme. So the current theme is the Astra. So I want it to be reactivated. So I'm going to check on this box. If you do not check this box, what will happen in WP Reset? will deactivate the Astra theme and it will set the 2023 theme as the default theme. Now, if you don't have the 2023 theme, it will still set it as a default theme. But it won't be on your WordPress themes folder. So at that time, your website will have absolutely no theme installed. So if you uncheck this box, make sure that you have the 2023 theme installed. I'm going to check mark this box because I want to activate the Astra theme. Then it says reactivate all currently active plugins. So I don't want them to be reactivated. I want all of them to be deactivated. After reading all of this, click on this input box and type in reset. And then click on this button. Reset site. Now it will actually prompt. Are you sure you want to reset the site? So once you are sure, click on this reset WordPress button. Now give it a few seconds. Resetting is in progress. Alright, so our WordPress site has been reset. Let's hover our mouse over here and then click on visit site. As you can see, the entire site has been reset. There is nothing over here. This is the Astra theme. So let's go back to the WordPress dashboard and checking everything out. So all the posts have been removed. And this is the Hello World post, which is actually the first post you get when you install WordPress. And as for plugins, all of these plugins have been deactivated. So if you don't want these plugins to be on your website, you have to manually delete all these plugins. And there you have it. We have successfully demonstrated how to reset a WordPress website giving you a fresh start to rebuild and create the perfect site for your needs. Remember, resetting your site can be a great solution if you are overwhelmed with customizations, plugins, or themes, or if you are a web developer looking to test new features and create demo sites for clients. As always, don't forget to create a backup of your website before resetting it just in case you need to revert back to the previous state. The safety of your site and its content should always be a top priority. We hope you found this tutorial helpful and easy to follow. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful WordPress tips, tricks and tutorials. We'd love to have you as a part of our community. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. We are always happy to hear from you. Until next time, happy website building and see you in the next video.